Welcome back to Watch the Cook. I'm excited for this video because today we're going to be making Kewpie Mayo. Japanese mayo, or Kewpie Mayo, is a tangier and more flavorful cousin of traditional mayonnaise. It gets the moniker Kewpie from the most popular brand sold in Japan. You may have seen it in some U.S. grocery stores. Whereas traditional mayo is an emulsion of oil and water along with some other ingredients, the Japanese version uses egg yolks instead of whole eggs and adds dashi powder along with rice vinegar to make it a richer, umami-forward condiment. First things first, we need to pasteurize some eggs, since we will be using raw egg yolks in our emulsion. You don't technically have to pasteurize them if you have access to very fresh eggs, but it's a good idea because of the off chance that you can get salmonella. We're going to use a sous vide immersion cooker to accomplish this, but as long as you keep the eggs heated at 135 degrees Fahrenheit for 75 minutes or longer, you're good to go. So for our sous vide, we're going to add 4 quarts of water to a container and bring our water bath up to temperature. Load up a spider with our eggs and gently ladle them in, making sure not to crack any of the shells. Set our timer and let our eggs cook for the full 75 minutes at 135 degrees. Once finished, gently ladle them into an ice bath from the sous vide container and allow them to come to at least room temperature if not cooler. Once cooled, crack the eggs and separate out the yolks. There will be some slightly cooked whites, so be careful while you're separating the yolks so you don't break one. Measure out one and a half cups of a neutral oil and add your yolks to a food processor. Then add Dijon mustard for flavor and to help stabilize the emulsion. Prepare to start drizzling your oil and hit start on your processor. We want to get about one third of our oil into the mixture, drizzling as slowly as possible. Emulsions are notoriously delicate and can break if you work it too hard. You'll know your emulsion is destabilized if you notice any separation between oil and water in your mixture at rest. We aren't at too much risk while adding the first third of our oil. This will become more important in the next few steps. After working in the first batch of oil, add salt and a dash of dashi powder or MSG. Then continue mixing and work in the second third of our oil until just combined but not much longer. Instead of lemon juice, I prefer lime juice for a bit of extra tanginess, so I'm going to juice 6 tablespoons worth of lime juice and add 2 tablespoons of rice vinegar to round out our mayo. You can certainly add lemon juice and just a taste if you prefer. Start mixing and add our final half cup of oil. This is where you need to be very careful not to destabilize the emulsion, so stop the mixer as soon as all of your oil is added. Finally, you should have a mayo consistency that is a bit more runny than normal because of all the heat we've added from the mixer and the kinetic energy of the blade but it will set up nicely once in the fridge. Thanks for watching and check out my Katsudan video for a perfect way to use your new Kewpie.